Hey everyone, Dom here. In this video, we're going to talk about why you should stop watching tutorials if you want to learn to code in 2022. So the reason for making this video is recently I took on a project at work where it required me to basically learn full stack. Now a little bit about my background. I did a little bit of HTML, CSS, and I touched a little bit of JavaScript, not to the point where I was competent at it, right? So obviously there was a lot to learn. I needed to learn uh, React. Obviously I needed to learn JavaScript. I needed to learn MongoDB. So reasonably, what I thought was, you know what, I'm gonna watch a tutorial. You know, I'm gonna buy a couple courses here on Udemy and I'll learn that way. Now the problem that I experienced was, it was just boring, right? So I would attempt to watch these tutorials and I end up falling asleep, right? You know, I ended up getting distracted, you know, you know, surfing the web, surfing Reddit. And I wasn't actually like actively paying attention and actively working towards the project that I was working on. Essentially, I was just spinning my tires, right? And what really changed the game for me was when I actually got in, I got into the deep end and I just attempted to either sink or swim, right? And that's why I think that, you know, if you're learning to code right now, you should stop watching tutorials, right? Now, what should you do instead? What you should do instead is you should actually start building the projects that you want to build and then fill in the gaps of knowledge that you are missing during the process uh, which you want to what you want to fill, right? So let me give you an example to make this a lot clearer, right? Let's say that you're in my situation, you're trying to learn full stack web development in order to like build a project of some sort, right? You know that, okay, I need to have a user interface, right? I need to have some sort of input, right? I'm gonna ask the user to enter some information and then it's going to, you know, put that somewhere into the cloud or to a database. I don't know yet. And then from there, once you have that high level overview of what you want the app to do, then you can start to put in the, you can start to learn the things that you need to learn in order to get that accomplished. Now, how is this different from learning tutorials? Well, tutorials follow a very, you know, a very, you know, linear kind of path which is not the way that you would typically do when you're actually programming. In programming, especially if you work for a company, there's a certain business problem that needs to be solved and you as an engineer need to find a way to actually solve that business problem, right? And it's not gonna be as linear as a tutorial, right? So you're better off, not just from a learning perspective, but also from you know a project perspective and actually getting in there and actually trying to do the project and figuring it out along the way. And then this will also help you to maintain the interest inside of programming because here's the thing, a lot of people struggle with motivation, right? You no, know, they struggle with, I just not motivated to code, I'd rather surf Reddit or I'd rather play video games. And the, pro and the reason for that is just because you're watching tutorials and tutorials are inherently boring. So what you should do is you should just go and solve the projects just like I'm doing at work, right? And then figuring out how to do the projects along the way. And that's actually going to help you to learn a lot better than you would be if you were just to watch tutorials. Now, that's not to say that all tutorials are inherently bad. I still think that you need tutorials here and there in order to you know, actually learn the skill, right? I still use tutorials, but I use them in a different way than I did when, you know, I was just watching these Udemy courses. I would use tutorials to accomplish a certain goal, right? So I'll give you a certain example. You know, I had this outline of what I wanted my program to do. And then what I would do is, you know, well, I don't know how to create a, I don't know how to, you know, if you click a button and then it creates a pop-up, how do I do that? And then from there, I watch a tutorial on how to learn that one skill, right? You're not just learn watching tutorials to, you know, 
solve whatever kind of problem. I don't even know. It's just boring, you know? So that's why you should stop watching tutorials. It's just because it's boring. It's going to get you demotivated. It's probably going to get you to quit a lot faster. And I don't want that to happen to you. So build projects and figure it out along the way. Because that's what I'm doing at work. And I'm actually learning a lot more from doing that than I would be if I was just going through that tutorial. And I'm able to build the project a lot faster and get myself competent to the point where, you know, I can go ahead and, you know, take the skills and apply it to other projects or take those skills and move on to another employer. You know, there's a million different things I could actually do with that. So if you're in the position where, you know, you're trying to learn to code, I do recommend that you just go ahead and start building projects that you're interested in, right? I'm building it for work and providing value for a company but in if you're in the position where you know you're just trying to build these personal projects trying to get your first software job i recommend that you build projects that would add value to your life right so let's give you an example let's just say that you know i'm trying to create a budget tracker right i'm trying to track my finances i'm working a minimum wage job you know i'm making uh 725 an hour and i want to find a way to you know and you know uh budget how much i can afford in chipotle this month right random project there and then how much i can put away in savings how much i can you know put in my four or not 401k but my roth ira and then that's how you can approach that right it's an interesting project and then you just figure out the how along the way it's going to help you to become more interested in programming and help you to get to the point when you're actually interested in the projects that you're actually going to build and you're going to actually take that into your employer and you're actually going to help yourself to sell it a lot better it's like hey this is pretty cool you know i've been working minimum wage job you know i've and then i built this really cool web app that helps me to track all my expenses and gives me how many chipotle burritos i can afford this week right it's a stupid project, but, you know, you're going to be a lot more excited when you go in and talk about that inside of your interview, as opposed to building some random Hello World application that you frankly don't really care about, right? So if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.